Three years ago, Penn State ended Illinois' 34-game home winning streak, and ever since, Assembly Hall no longer holds the power over the Nittany Lions that it does for so many other teams. The Illini were ranked 16th in the country, but Penn State visited Champaign looking for their third straight win there. Playing on the road anywhere isn't a big deal for these Lions. We're on the verge of a new high for road victories in their Big Ten era. This one had a strange start, though, and was still scoreless after four minutes. 16 10 left first half scores. McCamey drives. Elbow jumper Davis. Good. He's made that shot all year. Now the squads are one for 12. Damn it. Right by Davis. <laughs> and the tip by Jones. One of those who must hit the glass hard. And Micho off no good rip down by Jones and Cradles. This is amazing. These two teams have combined for two for 19 from the field. Corman to the bucket. In the lane. Stops. Bad. They're winning for three in the lead. It's good. And you know, it's, it's hard not to believe when, uh, when you have as much support as you have around the program and as much talent we have on the team and the coaching staff. You know, it's a team goal that, uh, you know, we need to get the best out of everybody and make the most of this year and try and uh, do as best we can in the Big Ten and hope and get to the tournament. Top of the key bat to his right to the elbow. Jumper up and no, but he'll shoot two off the foul. Chris Babb, a freshman from Texas, came to Penn State eager to get involved and make an impact. He had earned the opportunity with his hard work, and he, along with several other young Lions, like sophomore Andrew Ott, have made the most of their chances. Although there weren't a lot of offensive chances for either team in the first half of this game. Leach into the corner for three. And the rebound, Andrew Ott. Good job on the window since the timeout for Penn State. Woodyard squares up. Nicely done. These two freshmen, Woodyard and Babb, have combined now for six of the 13 Penn State points. Throw out in there, you got eight points from, you know, truly unexpected sources. Much about this game would be unexpected. It would be the kind of game where points were very hard to come by. Understandable because Illinois is the best scoring defense in the conference. The first half produced only 32 total points. Truly, the winner in this game would have to be patient and able to gut it out, finding alternative ways to win. Foul down the lane, far wing, Jackson. Bab down low, Cornley, right hand up, and good. Game tied at 19. Chester Frazier, McKamey, whirling on back. There he leads. Illinois put together a 10-0 run early in the second half to build a nine-point lead. And with baskets at a premium, that appeared insurmountable. But offensively, the Lions were resilient, and defensively, Penn State was forcing Illinois to record low. Davis taken down by Ott. Last touch by Illinois. Big oh, play. what a play by Andrew Ott. At the end of the year, it's a different team than the beginning of the year. So if we're able to take things once, kind of one step at a time, one game at a time, that uh, we could definitely reach our goals. Battle on the switch, there's Tisdale. Battle, far corner, stab for three. Gone. The team that wins will thank their defense tonight. Offensive foul. Jamel Cornley showed his unselfishness at both ends of the floor, taking a foul defensively, dishing the ball offensively. As the Nittany Lions and Andrew Jones fought their way back into the defensive struggle, defense that led to offense at the critical moments. Meets him off the screen, stolen by Chris Babb. Babb ahead to Pringle. Pringle with McKamey to beat, lays it up and in. The Nittany Lions take the lead. Great play by Chris Babb, who is having a game of his young career tonight. They're showing a lot of faith and Babb leaving him out there in a game of this magnitude, and he is delivering. Shot clock rolls to eight. Battle wants the drive. He does. Battle among the trees. Lays it up and in. Oh, what a big play that was by Taylor Battle. Three-point lead, Penn State. We talk about the fighting Illini and their team defensive prowess. Tonight, Penn State has been just as good. No, they were better. Holding Illinois, the second best shooting team in the Big Ten, to their fewest points in 62 years. More importantly, beating a ranked team on the road for the second time this month.